Yahoo Finance we are on bank earnings watch. Or we're almost our watch is almost done, at least for the week with Goldman Sachs's report this morning. But as we heard from our Brian Chung earlier in the week, one theme has really emerged. There are several themes. One of the themes that has emerged is that loan growth has not picked back up yet. And in a lot of these banks, uh, investment banking revenue is making up for that. Uh, let's bring in Jeff Hart now, Piper Sandler, managing director and senior research analyst. He covers the banks. Jeff, does it matter, first of all? And second of all, when do you think that that tipping point is going to be? Is it going to be in the fourth quarter? Is it going to be further out? Yeah, I mean, loan growth absolutely matters for the banks. That's probably going to be kind of the driver of the next catalyst up. Um, I, I still think it's a matter of when, not if. I don't know if it'll necessarily be fourth quarter, is it fall in the first quarter of next year? But I mean, we're seeing all the underlying drivers and signs of long growth. And we actually saw some long growth this, this quarter so far. I mean, it hasn't been very much, but we've really seen some growth. But I don't think, you know, seeing mid single digit you know, loan growth for next year is a stretch. I would expect to see that and hope that there could actually be some some upside to that because that's until the short term interest rates go up, which is, you know, something the Fed may have to be the one to do. Loan growth is really the key to, to net interest income getting better for the banks. Jeff, uh, earnings estimates into the into this round of earnings, they went up. They went up a lot, depending on which company you track. But we're still seeing sizable beats on the bottom line. Where are the surprises coming from? I mean, capital markets has been a highlight. And typically, you know, this this is the summer slowdown, right? It's usually the weakest quarter of the year. But especially in trading and M&A, we're seeing record quarters. So, I mean, investment banking and trading, the capital markets businesses are actually – quite a bit stronger than I think we expected coming in and we thought it would be a decent quarter. The, the thing people are really looking at though is, you know, what's the outlook? What, what do you see through the windshield as opposed to in the rearview mirror, what was a good quarter? And the outlook at this point, I think still looks pretty good, but, you know, capital market strength resilience is really what at least the Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley's of the world, I think, need to see to, to kind of take another leg up. Yeah, and let's talk about Goldman uh, for just a, another moment here. I mean, Goldman Sachs seemed to have, if not lost its mojo over the past several years, was not sort of the unquestioned, you know, best in class. And this quarter, things came back a little bit. Is this is this a function of the environment, or is it a function of David Solomon's execution? I think it's a little bit of both. The environment certainly helps because at the end of the day, Goldman is still the biggest and, and probably the best investment bank out there. So, you know, the last three, four quarters where capital markets have been really strong, Goldman has been shining. Before that, when capital markets weren't quite as great, yeah, it, maybe it, it wasn't quite as good. But we're also seeing a lot of progress in some of the strategic initiatives. I mean, their loan balances are up 9% sequentially this quarter. That's pretty good growth. And we're, we're seeing stuff like transaction banking. So in addition to a lot of the strategic kind of delivering on things that they're, they've promised. This is also a great environment for capital markets and they're the premier franchise there. Jeff, it seemed, at least to me, a little bit of a different tone uh, at Wells Fargo. Uh, CEO Charlie Scharf talking about a, a turn in the, in the corporate culture. You look down at the expense line items, they look to have cut a lot of expenses from their business. Is, is the Wells Fargo turnaround really truly starting to take hold? Well, in fairness, my 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 uh, coworker Scott Seifers covers Wells Fargo. I think I think the issue we're, we're kind of seeing there is some of these regulatory and kind of compliance issues take a long time to get behind you. So, I mean, I think when you look at Wells Fargo, that's a great franchise. That's going to be a stock you want to own long term. But in the near term, it's just kind of you know getting the asset cap lifted and kind of getting expenses under control. It's just I think proven to be a, a little longer of a, of a wait than 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 people had hoped. And the stock, along with a lot of bank stocks, has, has, has been strong this year. And it certainly had a good last, you know, four or six weeks. And so as we go ahead into the fourth quarter and beyond, I mean, we've had so many investors come on and tell us they like the banks. Um, what does this quarter do? I mean, it, does it confirm and then people stay pat and look for more outperformance from the banks? Or is now a good time to sort of take a step back as we wait for the next phase of growth? 
Well, it's, it's awfully tough to time that next step forward. And when I look at kind of the underlying fundamentals, I think they're, they're all saying that next step forward is going to come. So I, I'd be, I wouldn't necessarily be taking profits here, though a lot of what you might call the easy money may, may have already been made. But, you know, I, typically bank stocks trade a lot with the 10 year, even though it doesn't matter that much for their fundamental businesses. It does, they do trade with the 10 year and the 10 year going up is really giving us some tailwinds. But, you know, keep an eye out for pick up a loan growth, some improvement in short term rates. And uh, of course, if capital markets type stuff can, can remain strong, I, I think that the banks can kind of continue their, their, their move up. We'll be watching them. Great to catch up with you, Jeff. Thanks for your time this morning. Jeff Hart of Piper Sandler. Appreciate it.